university. And on a personal level, yeah, I mean, we all heard of COVID from China. We, we saw it from very far off. But then it's at our doorsteps and you realize that day in, day out, people are getting infected. And you're always asking yourself, uh, what level of risk you are exposed to, especially being a lab person, being involved, what level of risk are you exposed to? And how that translates also to your family and friends who you interact with. So you don't want to be the one through whom other people get infected. And that is always on your mind, you know, as you work and move up and in and out. And so, yeah, it, it takes its toll on you. But we are trying our best to manage, yeah. I wouldn't say scary like Kakai, but you are, you are more careful because you know you have other people who you go back to and you don't want to be the one through whom they got infected because you don't know how it will turn out for them. Maybe for you, you would be okay, but others may not be able to handle it and that may result in fatality. And that would be very bad for you because you're, you will not be able to live with it for a very long time. And so in our day-to-day -day work and interactions, the number one concern we have is, are we exposed? Are we, are we likely to get infected? You know, and, and that creates some anxiety. Yeah, not fear per se, but anxiety, you are anxious. It's hard. It's hard. Because as soon as the sample is taken, the doctors are, are there to are there on you expecting their results. And so you have to transit from the sampling. You have to transit from the sampling up to the resulting. And all this period must be attended to by the laboratory, which add a heavy toll on that person. In fact, Ebola was tight, but this one, it has taken all our time. I can't even sleep because as soon as my phone rings, I know either it will be Gaist, Rage, uh, Kolebu, UGMC, and all are under me. I cannot say no to one. So I have to do it and do all. This is the fight. Oh, my family matters. <laughs> Say, yes, my family matters uh, a lot because they see me every day, every night being exposed. And my wife being a nurse, she's concerned. And my two daughters too are always asking questions. I mean, but when daddy went to Ebola, when she came, he was there with us. But now, we don't even see him. Meanwhile, he's in the country. When he was there, he was there. But now, we don't see him. And I only call them once a day. Because other, I'm in the treatment center, in the red zone, or going. And when I'm driving, I don't like taking calls. So it is tough, very, very tough.